What is going on guys? Today I'm taking you through some of the secrets hidden within the world of Alpha One. Keep in mind that it is an alpha and it's pretty fun to find that we're already finding Easter eggs in hidden areas in the game, even though it's far from finished, which gives us a pretty good idea of what we can expect out of the final world with lots of with lots of puzzles and hidden secrets for people who really enjoy exploring to set out and find. But before we dive into this, Please, if you enjoy the content on this channel, hit that subscribe button, click that thumbs up, and turn on the bell for notifications, and leave a comment in the comment section down below, because those things go a huge way for getting these videos boosted and getting people to see more of this content. So if you could do that for me, that'd be a huge favor. But anyways, jumping right into the secrets. The first one, a lot of you have probably already seen. If not, it's a very subtle thing you might have missed. But on the character selection screen, if you look to the right of your character's feet, there is a sandal sitting there. This sandal is a little Easter egg to Stephen Shree himself and these things keep popping up they're in apocalypse i'm assuming there are more hidden in the world themselves but it's just there and if you're not looking closely you kind of miss it for the next one there are at least five of these things that i've found so far but if you remember back in idaho last year the mysterious monolith appeared well the devs really seem to enjoy this monolith and they put them in the game the first one being a little bit south of winstead in that little island surrounded by a small river the second one being on the eastern shore if you follow the shore north heading towards the ferry you'll find it sitting on a little island the third one is on a small island if you go to the western coast of the Na'ala node and follow that coast up into the little cove there are three islands the one in the center has the monolith on it the fourth one you will find hidden behind some rocks right next to the trader's rock ferry it's a little tucked in there and it's surrounded by a bunch of flangler little creatures but it's pretty easy to find and the fifth one you'll find behind the castle that sits between the winstead node and the mistmire node right before the mistmire dungeon another secret appears to be hiding just southwest of the edge point node there is an underwater cave that leads you up to what looks like a sunken divine gateway which is the entry points into vera but the center of it is a little different it's not the crystal that we normally see in the gateways it's something else so there have been underwater dungeons tees and this appears to be what that's gonna be but potentially this could be the entrance to one of the first instance dungeons we'd see which would explain the weird looking gateway but don't hold me to that i could be completely wrong on all that. From here, almost directly south of Winstead, there is a jumping puzzle. And once you follow this jumping puzzle, it's actually pretty easy to get around. It's a lot easier to do if you're a mage because you can blink some of the gaps that would probably require a mount otherwise if you couldn't blink. But once you get to the end of this, there's a tall statue that overlooks the area you're in. And at the base of the statue, there is a lootable chest. But unfortunately, when I looted the chest, nothing happened. It appears to be glitched or whatever is going to be in that chest has yet to be implemented into the game. And the last thing I found, I don't know if this is a bug or an easter egg or what, but if you go directly west of the Elyon node, I was just exploring these unfinished areas up here, and there appeared to be a boss that just randomly appeared named It Before Whom All Trembles that just showed up and annihilated me. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video on some of the secrets that I have found in Ashes of Creations Alpha 1 so far. If you found anything really cool, let me know in the comments down below so I can go check it out. Otherwise, like I said in the beginning of the video, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and turn on the bell for notifications as you stay tuned for a lot more to come.